Hello friends and welcome back to the second episode of the demo of Common Hood, which is a farming sims like Basically, if you haven't seen it, it was, it was featured on the Indie Awards on Steam. I picked up the demo because it looked like a lot of fun to me. And uh, we're pretty much homeless. And so we're just here um, building, building ourselves a little community um, while we can. So we're going to be placing all of these planter boxes pretty close to each other, I think. Um, last episode, we were able to build some planter boxes with potatoes in them, so that way we can feed ourselves as well as start generating some income for our community um, as the products that we produce are sold at the farmer's market, or we can just produce them for ourselves. Either way, um, you know, it's great. Oh, we got it to work that time. Awesome. Um, so yeah, we're just going to plant like five of these boxes, I think, and that way we can use up all of our potato seeds. We'll worry about getting more seeds later, but if we can get, you know, these all, oh, looks like we need to go ahead and, um, make some more wood. So let's go over here and do some more columns. So we will put some raw lumber in here. We want to make four by fours. And then we can also have the other people in our community um, do put out like build orders for us if we need to. Oh, I forgot to collect those planks. That's that was my bad, my bad, my bad. Um, so yeah, we'll go ahead and collect all, and maybe we'll do a little bit of decorating and uh, put our dad's books by our house. There we go. Now we're cooking. So let's go into our backpack, we'll take our books, and we'll put our books by our bed, I think. Get out of the way, Ash. Okay, and so it looks like this is how we figure out, this is how we research our technology. Interesting. This obviously takes about three hours in game, so let's go ahead and hit escape on this. Um, and we can finish that up later, but that's interesting. That's how you get like text, which is awesome. I keep running into this food thing. Um, okay, so let's go ahead and plant a potato. Plant a potato and water it. Okay, contains an item. We can water it again. Those do not need to be watered. So yeah, for the most part, when you're building through uh, blueprints, it just uh, toggle snaps. But of course, you can like break that. Um, let's try turning that into an order. Okay, hopefully that's enough. We might have to come back for a few more. A few more is this. Um, just a couple more. Hmm. This here is going to be his um, community panel. Um. He's really good at farming. I got bumped by Rhett there. The audacity. I definitely feel like this is a game that you're gonna end up spending a bunch of time in and get like hyper focused and super detail oriented into building some really awesome stuff. Um, so if that's your type of jam, then I would recommend it. It's fun so far. Um, so just try it. Just maybe try it sometime if you like it. Not sponsored, but if you enjoy The Sims but wish you could do more, but like specifically the house building parts of it, um, then this is like the game for you. Oh, let's go ahead and undo that one. 
and do that one. There we go. And it's awesome because you'll also be supporting a small indie company, which is fantastic. Okay, look at that! We have five potatoes done. Fantastic. Did a good job today. Um, okay, so character jobs build. Characters with the build job will seek out build orders and work on the construction. To place a build order, place a blueprint in the world, and press V. This will make a build order. Characters need materials to build too and will attempt to look for them in the community storage crate. Make sure you have enough materials for the construction stored there. Which we, I have not found that yet, so good to know. Um, through the schedule tab on their character panel. Okay. Characters with the farm job will plant seeds available in community storage and all the available soil. They will water also water the plants every day. Once the plants are ready for harvest, the character will collect them and place them in the food cellar. Characters with the produce job will use crafting machines to produce the assigned item type. They will seek out the required... They will. They'll seek it out. The required. <laughs> Once finished, they will put production results in the community storage. Once finished, they will put the community... The put the put the it's a demo, okay? It's an indie company, it's fine. Only items that can be produced with existing machines can be assigned at the job target. Okay, so let's press A. Never mind. Okay, so our next task is to get the planar machine up and running. We can also build chairs to earn some money from the merchant right away. Okay, so let's go back into here. Let's go into our blueprints and let's build ourselves a chair. So for the chair, we need 29 pieces of lumber. So, or 29 pieces of four by fours. Too tired, aw man. Okay, well then we're going to go to the sleep for the night. Well, before that, let's go here into community mo. Status, schedule. Haha, -ha, this is a button, so schedule. So we'll go ahead and add a job. We're going to do a farming job for you. And that's it. Okay. So now Mo will handle the farm for us. Let's go to sleep for the night. Call it good. And then, of course, as we add more people to our community, um, we will have the opportunity to have more people around our fire and share their evenings with us, which is really sweet. Mo is cold. Mo is motivated. A plant is ready for harvest. I believe in you. Oh, okay. Let's check out. Mo, warm yourself by the fire if you have to. I don't know what to do about that. So Mo is handling that. We are going to come over here. We're going to build um that chair so let's put a chair blueprint here and try it out easy peasy lemon squeezy okay so now that we have this let's sell it to alcott buying something or selling selling sell for 60 60 monies not bad pretty good um wood glue sandpaper wood tools metal tools vice yield we have to install a planer machine and i feel like we have to do the research for that but before we dive into the research i do want to do a little bit more exploring around here and see okay so we have a crane but we can't operate it we can get an extra empty water jug um, but yeah, so that's another cool part of this, is you can kind of explore the world. That's how you gather resources. Um, oh, we have another woodworking area down here. Interesting. Oh, it's a stockpile. So we can add resources to it. 
so that way we don't have to carry around resources on us, which is fantastic. What's that? Ooh, it's gasoline. And more gasoline. And a crate. Oh, we have more potato seeds, a capacitor, and more empty water jugs. Very cool. So we have some extra resources down there. Okay, hi Mo. I was not checking out your stuff. I did not find your secret potato stash, Mo. Okay, don't look at me like that. <laughs> I saw him eyeing me. He was like, what you doing down there in my bits? Uh, another stockpile also full of wood. Get Making sure you're stocked up and ready to go early. But of course we can... Ooh, more food. I feel like this is these are people's secret stashes that they don't want other people to know about. So I'll go ahead and respect their privacy for now. Um, and just uh, leave it as it is. Wouldn't it make more sense to just compile it all together, guys? Robotic part C. Okay. We well, have that now. Fantastic. Okay, so it looks like we can go out there. We just still need a pickaxe, which we do not have yet. So, is the Ant-Man over there? Or do they all just have masks? Creepy. Creepy, creepy. <gasps> well, I don't think we lost anything, at least. Uh, I was not expecting to fall through. Oops. Um, okay, so let's go read a book. I'll probably just skip forward through that because uh, I think she just sits and does the same thing. So I think this is, that looks like the planer that we need. So let's go ahead and click that one next. But let's go ahead and go to sleep for the night um, because we're too tired to do anything. So if we check out our food cellar, we have 11 potatoes. It says, get them, taters. Um, do we have to tell Mo that we need to plant more potatoes, or...? Oh, nope, he's doing it. Okay, fantastic. So I'm gonna go ahead and try re researching Electronics 101 to see if that helps me build that, if that unlocks what I need it to unlock. So I'm not exactly what should, sure what to do next. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to harvest all the resources I can and move them into the storage crate. So that way they're easily accessible by everybody. I'm compiling all their little stock holds of nonsense. Okay, so you do need to get... Um, water jugs and put them in the stockpile pretty consistently for them to um, water the plants, in case you didn't know, because uh, Mo there was just not doing anything with that. Uh, he didn't He didn't go fetch his own water. Very interesting. Um, okay, let's go ahead and get some dry leaves. Brett says, saw you checking out the workbench there. Oh, is it yours? We share things here in the common. Feel free to use it. Oh, right. We used to be able to repair machines and build tools here. Take care of our needs, you know? Not having to depend on shiny new objects all the time. I see. But this workbench looks broken. Yeah, we haven't been able to get the parts to repair it. I can try to fix it. That would be great. It would give us more independence, allowing us to build new tools. Sure then, I'll give it a shot. Why don't you talk to Alcott? He's always talking about the wares he has found around, he might have something useful. So we'll need all of these um, and the advanced carpentry knowledge. So if we check out our stockpile, don't have any screws. Maybe I'll just go ahead and uh, do some advanced research. So I think I figured it out. <laughs> For this generic workbench, we need 100 raw panels, which we have, wood tools, which we need to buy, wood glue that we need to buy, and 200 screws, which we also need to buy. But we did have the sandpaper and the panels just around. Um, we may or may not need to know advanced carpentry. That I'm unsure of. Um, and then to repair it, we need 
electronic tools, which we have, a soldering tool, which we don't, and two pieces of scrap metal. And once we collect all of that, then we should be kosher. The only downside is that screws cost $2 a piece here in the shop. So that's pretty much all of our money to buy that. Plus we'd need the wood tools and that's 200 plus the soldering is 100. So basically we just have to start building a bunch and a bunch and a bunch of chairs or maybe we could even try out this blueprint here of a simple table. Um, a one inch panel. I don't think we can build that on our table saw. No, we can't. So just chairs, just chairs. So that is what we're going to do. However, I am going to go ahead and leave this part here. Thank you so much for joining me on this common hood demo. Let's play. If you're enjoying this game, feel free to check it out on steam. It's made by an indie developer, which all indie developers have a sweet spot in my heart. Um, so go check them out. This game's really fun. Um, as always, you can check out all my social media linked in the description. It's my link tree link. Uh, there's a sticker shop, a TikTok, and my Patreon. My Patreon has several tiers, uh, but you can get access to uh, my videos early as well as some other goodies if you want to head on over there and check it out but if you'd like to support me for free i'd really appreciate that all you have to do is like comment and share this video as well as subscribe to my channel all of that really helps the youtube algorithm get my content in front of more people's faces so until i see you guys again i hope you have a wonderful rest of your day Bye bye